Hi guys and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be predicting the scores of week 6 of this the 2021-2022 Premier League season. Now before we get started on this week as we usually do, let's have a quick look back at how well we got on in week 5, which seems an absolute age ago now. It does. Uh, Nathan, you came away with... 10 points and one perfect score. Right. I did absolutely terribly last week. No perfect scores and just the four points. But top scorer of game week five was LFC97 and he or she came away with 14 and a half points and four perfect scores. Now remember, we are doing this, or, or it's all calculated over at the Super Brew website if you want to um, get involved. More details of that later in the video though. But uh, overall now, in the league table, heading up things with 62.5 points is Hefi Zerman and Hefi Zerman um, is two point clear two points clear of Vercon. Nathan, you're currently in 33rd position on 49 points, and I'm currently on 44 and a half points and currently in 53rd position. So it's all to play for lots of exciting games this weekend and it is the North London Derby. But enough last week, that's enough of the roundup. Let's crack on and make some predictions for week six. Okay, so first up, we've got an interesting one. Half past 12 on Saturday. Between Chelsea and Man City, this is on BT for anyone wondering as well. Uh, Man City 0 0 against Southampton. Went into that one really disrespecting the uh, fixture, really. Quite ironic as well when uh, Pep did his Delia Smith impression as well, hoping that he was going to get a better reception there, but yeah, ended up in 0 0. Disaster for them. Chelsea 3 0 against Spurs. That's always a great result, especially away from home as well. Going to be a tight one, could go either way. But I'm going to go for Desmond's in this one, 2-2. Can't separate them and there will be goals. Really, yeah, I think there will be goals. I do think Chelsea, though, have got the upper hand on Man City at the moment. Uh, Man City only conceded in one goal this term, but so have Manchester City have only conceded once as well. Last season, Man City won this fixture 3-1 at Stamford Bridge, but Chelsea won at the Etihad 2-1. Of course, Chelsea yeah. beating Manchester City in the Champions League final as well. So it's going to be a very, very close game. Lukaku looks awesome at the moment. Timo Werner getting uh, an assist last week. And Alonso's looking very good going forward. So I've just got Chelsea to sneak this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 home win to the uh, the Blues in this one. Next up, also at half past 12, interestingly enough, not on TV in the UK. Maybe it's for the mm -hmm. foreign market. We've got Manchester City, Manchester United rather, coming yeah. up against Aston Villa. Now, Aston Villa, last time out, recording their second win of the campaign uh, with a 3-0 victory at home against Everton. And Manchester United um, moving up into the third position in the league table which, with um, a good win away against yes. West Ham. So, um, Man United full of running. Ronaldo scoring for fun at the moment in yeah. the league. I think even though um, Aston Villa played really well against, you could say, a depleted Everton side last week, I'm going to go for a home win to Man United in this one. I'm going to go 3-1 to the Red Devils. Interesting. I think it's going to be much narrower than that, to be mm -hmm. honest. I mean, Man United, they've really been grinding out results. I mean, very lucky against West Ham and like Southampton. They should have really won. And then you had the young boys when they lost yeah. as well in Champions League. Um, but... It just depends, really. Oh, I have concerns about Man United at times, but I don't know. I think they'll just about grind this one out 2-1 against Villa. Yeah, I think Mings it was for Villa last Mings, week. Yeah. And uh, Bailey looked awesome. I'm, I'm sure he set up a goal. Oh, yeah, Bailey is just well. ridiculous. Probably signing the summer so far. But anyway, moving on. Next up, first 3 o'clock, we've got Everton Norwich. Now Norwich, bottom of the league, two goals scored, 14 or something, 12 or 14 conceded. Ridiculous. Everton doing okay at the moment they're in sixth they lost 3-0 last time around finally got rid of James Rodriguez to Qatar uh, which I guess is a good thing for them but yeah they'll be able to steamroll Norwich I'm going to go for 2-0 really? maybe more well even though they're missing the likes of Calvert-Lewin and Rosarsson yes. at front Norwich got, are terrible yeah, they've got Rondon at front yeah, yeah Norwich are all over the place they had an opportunity against um uh, Watford last week. They didn't even take. They even didn't even get the draw. In they got that absolutely one. destroyed in the second half. Yeah, but 
I fully expect Everton to win this one even with Rondon at uh, front and I'm going to go for a 2 nil. Yeah but the thing line. is Rafa Benitez and Salomon Rondon partnership you can't go wrong That's right yes and I think we've already said time and time again uh, Damari Gray yeah. since he's joined Everton has looked very very good So next up we've got Leeds coming up against West Ham Leeds drawing last week uh, it was against Newcastle of course up at Newcastle West Ham coming up a little bit unstuck against Manchester United and they haven't actually won in the last three matches with draws against Southampton away and Crystal Palace at home so mm. uh, but they have had some difficult fixtures coming from they West have. Ham they uh, have tricky tricky position this one and also West Ham a little bit unlucky Noble coming on the pitch yeah. first kick of the match and he misses that penalty against Manchester United last time out so I fancy West Ham in this one Leeds' defence is a little bit shaky at the moment so I'm going to go 2-1 West Ham yeah Leeds always start the season with, with shaky defences and this is the first season where Leeds haven't started well under Bielsa which is interesting I think that's going to continue with them uh, West Ham Antonio will be back as well but she'll yeah. have quality to the side so I'm going to go 2-1 Next up, we've got Leicester versus Burnley. Leicester in top position at the moment. Patchy, patchy form, losing their last two, but some very difficult fixtures there. But they are grinding out the results that they need to as well. Minus that West Ham fixture as well. But Burnley currently in 19th, haven't won all season. Tough starts of the season, but they should have really beaten Arsenal. And looking at some other results, yeah, quite tricky for them, but could have got a victory over Leeds. But it's going to be a long season for them, I think. I thought I had them to go down, of course. Uh, I think Leicester will grind out a result here, and I'm going to go for 1 0. Yeah, Leicester, two back to back defeats. However, I fully expect them to beat Burnley. I don't think yeah. there's going to be lots of goals in this one. Burnley will probably go away and try and frustrate the Foxes but uh, I think Leicester will sneak through in this match and I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory to the Foxes uh, next up we've got Watford coming up against Newcastle Watford recording their second win of mm. the campaign last time out they are up in 11th position can they get back to back wins I don't think so. I think Newcastle are going to make the journey to the south there uh, against Watford and actually uh, cause a little bit of a, mm. an upset, you could say, but um, Newcastle have drawn two of the last three games. So I'm going to go for another draw in this one. Um, I'm going to go for 1-1. Yeah, I was tempted to, well, this one could go either way, really. I was, in a way, tempted to go for a Newcastle win, but we all know their, uh, well, their record in and around London, so even though Watford isn't in London anyway, but yeah, we, we saw some special things from uh, Watford against Norwich but I don't know it's one a disappointing team at the moment versus one really shocking team so yeah I, I think it's going to be tight 1-1 one, one. next up we got Brentford versus Liverpool Happers 5 on Sky very very interesting in this one Brentford started out the season really well only one loss from five really really promising and good 2-0 against Wolves drawing to Villa and Palace who started really well and destroying Arsenal Two, uh, Liverpool had another good start as well. It's gonna. This is tough. This is really tough. Uh, I think Liverpool will just sneak a victory though, unfortunately for uh, the bees. And I'm gonna go for two one. I do think Brentford will score though. Yeah. Looking at Brentford's fixtures, they they have done very very well so far this season. Mm. They've only conceded two goals. Liverpool though have only conceded one. Uh, Brentford have come up the likes of Arsenal. Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, Brighton and Wolves. They're coming yeah. up at, against a different kettle of fish in Liverpool with Van Dijk in the middle of that defence. He looks so much more solid, uh, the Reds, so far this season. Liverpool going away to Brentford, mm -hmm. to London. Not sure if Trent's going to be involved in this one. Possibly. Um, doubts, I think there's going to be a late fitness test there. So they'll miss that sort of attacking flair down the right-hand side. But uh, they've got attacking flair yeah. all over the pitch. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to Liverpool in this one. Next up, we've got the first of the Sunday fixture between Southampton and Wolves. Wolves, precarious at the moment. One win losses. out of five, losing shockingly against Brentford although Brentford have been doing yeah. very well so coming up against the Southampton team who haven't been you know pulling up the trees themselves but they have got four draws on the bounce and getting that Two very nil -nils, very good nil nil draw away against uh, Manchester City and they could have actually sneaked that match in the end mm -hmm. uh, difficult to predict I fancy Southampton at home though this is a game really they should be looking to get all three points and I think they will I'm going to go one nil yeah, I think the problems are going to continue for Wolves for a bit, to be honest. Their style, 
just the way that they've been playing at the moment, it, it hasn't been impressing me, to be honest. And Southampton, they've been playing well, and they'll have confidence uh, from that draw against Man City. So I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 sneaky one at St. Mary's here. Uh, but Bruno Large, he's going to have a lot of questions being answered mm -hmm. at him. Um, and he could be favourite one of the first to go at the moment. But we'll wait and see on that one. Anyway, next up, we have the North London derby at half past four between Arsenal and Spurs. Now, Arsenal starting to claw things back a bit after that really poor start. Whereas Tottenham, they're starting to drift a bit as Nuno is starting to be worked out. And I've mentioned it many times about the lack of plan B and how they only seem to be quite one-dimensional. But I fully expect Spurs to take this one due to the difference in quality. So I'm going to go for 2-0. Yeah, this is a difficult one. This could go either way. Last season, uh, Arsenal won this fixture 2-1 and Spurs won the reverse fixture 2-0. Harry Kane... <laughs> Looking a bit iffy to me. Yeah. Is he all? You know, is his mind fully on on the? Uh, but that just on means where that Son, Lucas Moura have mm, to step up. Yeah, they, they they do. It's difficult one to predict this one, but it is North London derby. Everything goes out the window. I fancy Arsenal to win. Exact replica of last season's uh, score. So we come to the final fixture of the weekend, taking place on Monday evening. Sky Sports, Monday, 8pm. We have got, what is it, the M5 Derby? The M23 Derby. M23 Derby. Derby. Wow, what Derby. Crystal Palace against Brighton. Brighton have done ever so well this season. They've uh, recorded four victories out of five. The only loss was at home. They're currently against destroying Everton. the Jacks at the moment as well as this video's been recorded, Excellent. which is good. So. Um, that result last weekend against Leicester was special. Very good. As well. So um, you can't rule them out. However, Crystal Palace at Selhar, Hurst Park, they going to get behind their they side. Will. They've only won once this season though Crystal Palace is interesting even though they have been grinding out all their other results. They did suffer um, they've had a really difficult uh, they have, fixtures there. And, and last week they did lose away against Liverpool. They had a couple of chances there. Most people would have expected them to be still mm. in the relegation zone by this and for them to not be in there or yeah. even in 14th is a very very good start to the season for them. And that win against Tottenham was, was very good as mm. well but uh, I think they're going to cancel each other if this was at Brighton probably would have gone for Brighton but I'm going to go for a draw in this one 1-1 one, one. I, I think this is so difficult I, oh, the thing is with the way that Brighton have been playing at the moment and with the way that Palace are a bit inconsistent here and there defensively I think I'm just going to edge Brighton on this one 2-1 two, one. Two, one. very close if it was at the Amex then maybe hmm. I would have said that Palace would have won it. Fantastic. So that concludes our predictions for week six of the 2021-2022 yeah. Premier League season. As usual, make sure you leave your predictions over at superbrew. Superbrew. <laughs> Superbrew.com. <laughs> There's the website below, yeah. and um, there's also, if you haven't already joined the league, then that, that's the league code there. Also, leave your predictions in the comment section because I read each and every comment in each and every prediction. It's always good to um, have a look yeah. at what you guys are thinking as well. So Nathan, before we go, what's happening this weekend? Any vlogs coming? Uh, this weekend, not able to go to Blackburn, unfortunately, due to commitments. Just that's the way it is at the moment. So, yeah, that's going to have to be a watch long, unfortunately. Then uh, next Tuesday, West Brom at home. There'll be a vlog then. And the uh, following Saturday after that, I'm not sure what we've got, but I know it's at home. So there'll be another vlog for that. So I'll channel link in the description below. Fantastic. Thanks once again, everyone, for subscribing, liking, commenting, yeah. all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, as usual. But for now... We're going to bid you all farewell and we'll see you all in the next video.